Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. And today we will talk about business falls. How you can raise a business fault when a, when a business event occurs as per your business logic and how you can handle that in, in your composite. So if we talk about faults in general, there are two types of categories of fault. Business faults and runtime faults. Runtime faults are like binding faults and remote faults that you get to know about them when you test your service on server. However, business faults are more related to your business logic. So if certain event occurs in your business logic, you would want to raise a business fault. So we'll try to accomplish that through a demo today. So let's start. So here, as you can see, there are two uh, blank projects that I have created. Service that throws fault, service that catches fault. So first we'll create a service uh, that throws a fault. I have created a visdl uh with schemas as request response schema which will have an input and and a result and a fault schema which will have the fault details and i have associated this with the generate fault operation with input output and fault so if you don't know how to create a visdl uh, manually we have created videos on this i would appreciate if you can go and check that out i'll put a link of that video into the description and also on the YouTube card on the top of this video. So let's begin. So first of all, we'll create, we'll expose our service as a SOAP service using this visitor. We'll use a SOAP adapter for that. Here we go, and now we'll create our people. Now inside our people, we'll use a receive activity in order to receive the input. Create a variable, it will automatically take the request message schema because uh, that's what we have defined in our visual. And we'll reply the output. So as of now, there is nothing new. It's simply we have created a people which receives an input from the user and replies the output. Let's create another variable where we want to store our fault details. Let me call it fault variable, which is of fault element type. This is a common practice where the schema of the fault will be different than your request and response element. You can uh, totally depends on your business logic, how you want to do it. Now, Let's assign the success. In this reply result, I'll assign success. Now, currently code will return every time it will return a success. Now let's give it a simple business logic to it. If your input that is coming in your service is equals to, let's just say James, only then it's a success. Otherwise, throw a business fault. All right, so I'll drag and drop these success scenarios here. And now, now here's where you'll need to throw a business fault. So how you do that, we'll add another reply. We'll reply 
fault this time here now I'll give the fault variable here and I there is some important information that you will get to know I'll apply this okay and let me assign fault body here so this fault body let me give you are not James okay so now if you see if you'll notice in our reply variable we gave a fault variable here which is not of a response type for our visitor so if I build this now I should be getting an error that this element does not match the response element so that here you go fault variable of type this is not compatible with your visitor message now I won't change this because I want the fault variable body to be sent but I'll give this fault queue name here so from the project visuals I have this wrong name business fault that I have created in my Beepo now when I apply it I said okay and now it's all good now it'll not be giving us any error so let's deploy this service now So it is deployed now let's go to our enterprise manager and just test this service so that you guys get to know how a business fault looks like so here is that service service that throws fault let's test it and i always try to test with the success scenario first here you go it's a success now let's get that business fault so as you can see we got a fault here let's see which fault is this so fault detail says you're not James is this is the detail that we gave in the variable right and the fault name is this wrong name wrong name business fault so if you'll check the instance of this service so here you can see it is termed it is categorized as business fault in many projects often developers handle these sort of situations using if else and then reply whatever they want to reply but that's like business conditions have been taken care of not the business faults many projects run reports on business faults that in what composite how many types of business faults we received so for that practice throwing business fault is important now let's create a service which will catch this fault and return whatever the detail that we have previously we have created a video where how you can throw and handle a custom fault within your composite so that is also very important when it comes to fault management so if you have not seen that yet i would highly recommend you guys to check that here is this service service that catches fault it's a blank project that i have created I have not done anything here as of now so we'll develop it together so I will be calling this service that throws fault in the soap service so let me get the visual URL for this one so this is the visual URL for the service that throws fault let me copy this visual URL here and let's use a soap adapter in order to call that service We'll copy it here you go now we can create our people so I'm gonna leverage the request response schema that is there it is not important or not even mandate or anything it just I'm a bit lazy so that's why I'm going to reuse this schema for request and for response here you go 
we'll call it let's invoke this service here you go now whatever the input that I get from user I want to assign it back to the business fault service and I want to return the result now it's very simple service for the success scenario it will return success it will get uh, from the business fault web service it will return get the success and return back to the user but when this will throw a business fault at that time will this invoke will fail with that particular fault and we'll have to catch it one way is you get a scope here and catch it here locally that's the most common practice in most of the projects but here also we can in the in the main scope also we can add a catch activity here however we'll have to give that fault name here that this is the fault that we want to catch right let's give a variable name here so i'm going to give the name as fault variable i know this is the same name that we got in the other service but it's not uh, recommend i mean it's not an important or mandate thing that the fault variable should be same as the fault which is fault variable which is coming to this service so you can use any name that you want hardly matters but this type and schema these things matters a lot the namespaces and all now let's reply So we'll get reply the fall details. And assign fall details. So whatever the data this fall detail will have, we want to reply it back in case we end up catching a fault. Reply. Let's deploy this service now. All right, this service is also deployed and now let's go to enterprise manager and test this service in order to handle the business fault that we got. So here is the service service that catches fault. Let's test it. And as you know me, I'll test the success scenario first. Now let's handle the business fault. And as you can see, we got the detail are not James so that's how you can raise a business fault and handle a business fault one visitor can have n number of uh, different business faults so it totally depends on your business logic how you want to take care of it so that's all for today thank you for your time take good care of yourselves and have a nice rest of the day bye bye